Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Eric Tijeri and I'm the Director of Legal Programs at RAICES. We're a nonprofit immigration law firm here in San Antonio. We have four offices, uh, two here in San Antonio, one in Corpus Christi and one in Austin, Texas. Uh, we have seven legal programs, uh, two of our largest programs. One involves dealing with refugees. So when we uh, oftentimes will we'll assist refugees one year past their entry to the United States to achieve lawful permanent residence. So they come to our office, uh, typically Burmese, Iraqis, uh, Nepalis, uh, people from East Africa, and we assist in the uh, legalization, further legalization of their presence here in the United States. We also assist in, in things like uh, tra uh, travel documents, naturalization. Once, once you become a lawful permanent resident, you become a citizen. You can become a citizen after a certain amount of time. And we also assist in those uh, applications with uh, United States Citizenship and Immigration Service. Uh, we also provide uh, legal defense uh, when people are in deportation proceedings. Uh, one of our larger um, pockets of, of legal representation ha happen to be in um, those who are seeking asylum here in the United States or protection under the Torture Convention, International Torture Convention. Now we talked about, uh, I was asked to talk about a little bit here today about the crisis at the border. Rice, this is also the legal service uh, agency that is going to Lackland. Uh, we are going to Lackland uh, practically every day. We have uh, at least a group of six to 10 of our lawyers and legal assistants going to Lackland uh, to provide Know Your Rights uh, presentations to the unaccompanied minors, as well as uh, provide legal screenings. Uh, this fact, this past week, uh, we provided Know Your Rights presentations to over a thousand children, as well as over 400 uh, in legal screenings, intakes, to see if there is uh, some sort of legal sufficiency for the children to actually be able to remain here in the United States. Now, what we're finding is that the children are not cognizant that they're part of any kind of mass migration to the United States. They just know that they are fleeing something, whether it be uh, escaping abuse, abandonment, or neglect in their home country. Uh, oftentimes the children haven't been to school in years. They're, they're, they're moving from home to home. Uh, the parents have abandoned them from, um, you know, from the time they were very young. And uh, a lot of the children are escaping forced conscription into gangs. They realize that's bad. They've been abused, sometimes assaulted uh, by other gang members trying to force, forcibly conscript the children into gangs. And so they're, they're just part of this, this movement up uh, escaping um, uh, the, the, the current ills of, of whichever country they're coming from. Uh, so what that allows the children to do, if they, if they can demonstrate that they are uh, victims of abuse, abandonment, or neglect by one or both parents, it does allow the child to seek what is called special immigrant juvenile status here in the United States. And once, once we're able to get, and I won't bore you with all the, 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 uh, the legal details, those boring things. If you're, if you're interested, you can come and talk to us at the Raices table, but once, once a, a child is able uh, to demonstrate they've been abused, abandoned, or neglected by one or both parents, then they're able to apply for what is called special immigrant juvenile status. And once that application is approved by United States Citizenship and Immigration Service, the, the children can then apply for lawful permanent residence. Okay. Um, but, you know, thank you very much for having us here today. And um, again, if you have any questions regarding any of the immigration matters, please come see us at the RAICES table. And RAICES is an acronym for the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Education and Legal Service. Okay, thank you very much.